All right, welcome Diane Worcester Sauce uh, to the auditions uh, for Heaven. Hey, how hey, are you? Hey, I am blessed. Thank you so much. Amen, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, what brings you to the audition today for Heaven? Um, well, I think everybody wants to go to heaven one day. I mean, I surely do. Uh, who I'm a little nervous is Jesus nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is everywhere all the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, like you already know my name. Um, I'm, I'm a really good person. Like, you know, I feed the homeless. I go to church once a week. Um, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't curse. Um, I do love God. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So you say you love God. What about Jesus? I do love him. Okay. He is God. <laughs> yeah. Do you know him? Do you have like a personal relationship with him? Um, well, he knows my name, so, um, yeah, I do. Okay. Would you say that you're born again? Um, what? Would you say that you're born again? Nicodemus came to Jesus by night, and he asked Jesus, well, how, how do I get into heaven? And Jesus explained to him that he had to be born again um, by spirit and by water. Oh, no, I, I don't do nicotine. Okay, um, by spirit and water. And Nicodemus said uh, that, how can I be born again? I'm old. Am I supposed to climb back in my mother's womb and be born again? And that's when Jesus said that you have to be reborn or born again of spirit because we're fleshly beings. So yes, yes, I got baptized <laughs> when I was five. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little enthusiastic there. Yes. It's okay. So you were baptized at five. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how has life been since then? Um, do you know? Okay, here's a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the two commandments that Jesus gave us? Um, you know, thou shalt not kill. Um, thou shalt not steal. He did say, you know, um, don't commit adultery. Don't covet your neighbor's wife. And I mean, I'm not going to do that anyways. It's like, ugh, I have a husband. You see the ring. Um, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, don't steal. I'm not sure if I already said that. Um, stuff didn't. like that. Okay. Yeah, follow all the Ten Commandments. Yeah, period. Okay. And do you know the fruits of the Spirit? Um, something like that, yeah. Okay. And what are they? Um, you know, patience. Kindness, stuff like that, yeah. Okay. All right. Simon, do you have any questions for her? Well, I would like to ask her what makes her think that she is going to heaven? I just told you, Simon, I'm a good person. <laughs> okay. I mean, I gave $5 to the homeless lady, and I didn't even think twice about it because I knew... I gave it to her so God would bless me. Even if God doesn't bless me for that, I still did something that he would do. Because okay. he was on this. So I'm pretty sure if somebody were to give him $5, he would have taken it. If $5 was a thing, you know, five shekels or something like that. Okay. And um, I have another question, Simon. Um, so do you think that good people go to heaven? Absolutely. Okay. And where do bad people go? Um... <laughs> Am I, can I say that on camera? Yes, it was a question with an answer required. Hell. Okay, so you don't think there'll be good people in hell? Um, there could be, but if they are good people in hell, then they weren't really good people. Okay, who does Jesus say is good? Um, does he say people? I've never heard him say about anything about being, about anybody being good. Do you spend time in God's Word? Do you read the Bible? Yeah, every Sunday when I'm at church. And the pastor will say, like, go to James this or go to Revelation that, and I'll do it. Okay, so you don't read your Bible outside of Sunday service? Um, not really. Okay. But I have one. I have a couple of you them. You have a couple. Because Jesus actually said that nobody is good except the Father. So um, good people won't be in heaven because none of us are actually good. And that's the whole reason for Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and being not only crucified, buried, but resurrected. And he basically had victory over the sin, 
of all of us, the grave, which is death, and Satan. And that's how you get to heaven, by believing in him, confessing that he is who he says he is, putting your trust in him, and letting him complete the work that he started in you. So I believe I'm going to heaven then. Okay. So this is an audition for heaven, and we will um, reach back out to you if you uh, are chosen. Um, you can leave the stage now. Isn't that God's decision? Well, we're going to consult with him, and he's going to give us the answer. I got gotcha. you. But based off of your answers today... Um, well, based off, he knows my heart, so based off of that... Your heart is deceitful above all else. That's fine, but he knows my heart and my true intentions and everything, and I talk to him from time to time, so I'll see you in heaven. Bye! Okay. We, we pray, Adios! We Thank pray, you! We pray you do. Okay, amen. All right, Simon, that was a good question. Thank you. I was trying so hard not to laugh. I know. And then the way I'm looking at you, I'm like... <laughs> and then just talking.